after looking at the clean sheet odds these are our captain picks for game week 29 blank game week 29 these are our captain picks people that we're going for uh, the list is going to be more or less similar to the one that is our top players for game week 29 um I think in 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 in, in Oli Watkins again our guys is actually the exact same list but I'm just going to give you a bit more stats Oli Watkins um He's one of the in one of the best attacking teams so far. 59 goals this season, second in the league. Uh, sorry, fourth in the league in terms of goals scored. West Ham have considered 49 goals, fifth most in the league. Potentially high scoring game. This man has 16 goals and 15 assists this season, more than anyone in terms of GA. Highest scoring player in FPL. And he has the third highest rated scoring this week at 5.6 points. So he's option number one for captaincy. Option two. James Madison. James Madison is uh, playing uh, Fulham away. He has one goal, three assists since coming back from injury. He is um, playing Fulham who attack quite a bit. Again, as I said, this is a team whose style of play is going to really suit James Madison and what he brings to the team. He's on majority of set pieces. He has the fifth highest predicted scoring this week at 5.3. Um, a good option for captaincy this week. Jared Bowen, 14 games, uh, 14 goals, two assists. He has a quite a tough game against Aston Villa, we know. Um, but Aston Villa have considered 41 goals, the fifth most this season. So that high line that they keep playing is not not looking like it's keeping clean sheets, but it's giving them wins. It's put them where they are right now. So it's 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 working, but also they're conceding quite a bit. I think one of the big reasons is they're playing quite a high line, but they don't have the personnel to maintain that high line, right? So if you compare them to Spurs, for example, Spurs play a high line, but they have Miki Vadeven at the back, who I think has the the fastest uh, recorded uh, speed in Premier League this season. So it's just you you can't play a high line and not have the quickest players, right? Udogi, Pedro Poro, um, Romero, not the quickest, but still not a slouch. As we, but if you compare to Aston Villa's back line, like those guys are not the quickest. Like, just that entire back line. I think after losing Tyrone Mings, they dip severely in terms of pace. Um, yeah, so Bowen has a fixture against them. Uh, West Ham have scored nine goals in the last three games at home. Lucas Paqueta is back, and Bowen is playing as a forward, despite being classified as a midfielder in FPL. So, a good shout for captain. Ivan Tony, four goals, one assist since coming back from his ban. Um, plays Burnley, who have conceded 62 goals, second most in the league, and they just keep conceding. Burnley away. Uh, Brentford have scored 40 goals. That's the 10th most in the league, and Tony is on penalties. He will always get involved. I believe this is still one of the best fixtures for any pot like potent midfielder striker. So, yeah, Tony is there. And then I think our top pick for captain this week has to be Son. Um, his man has seven double-digit holes this entire season. He's played Fulham. He's playing Fulham away. It's a London derby. Um, Fulham, who are in the bottom five for expected goals conceded. Um, Spurs have scored 59 goals this season, fourth most in the league. I think they're tied with West Ham. Um, Richarlison is injured, so that means Son is going to be playing striker. He's also on penalties. He's involved in 42% of Tottenham's goals. He's the main man at Spurs. So someone who is definitely, definitely, definitely a shout for captain. 